MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. We've been invited to Jameson Engineering today by Aberlink, but before we go and look at the machine, can you tell me a little bit more about your company? Yeah, uh, Jameson Engineering was established in 1979. Um, we started quite small and grew in mainly the tooling type of business, supplying precision tooling to a range of companies. Um, and then when uh, the, the tooling market began to shrink, um, we decided to get into aerospace production. Um, we've always been a company that's invested in new machinery and we had a number of new driven tool lathes and we just fell in at the right time and were able to be successful bidding for some production aerospace components. And is that why you invested with Aberlink? Uh, yes, we did. I mean, the Aberlink connection came about with a range of products where as much as they needed to be very high quality for the uh, customer, there was a number of processes being done to them after we'd machined them. So therefore, it was in our interest that every component that we made was uh, acceptable prior to any um, further processing. So we decided that every part needed uh, measurement and the best way to measure the component was using an Aberlink CNC CMM. On the shop floor here at Jameson Engineering, we've got the latest CNC technology. We've also got a CMM machine here on the shop floor by the machines. Why is that? Well, Joe, this is, uh, this is out on the shop floor just purely to make sure that the parts coming off the machines are right. Uh, we, they are, the, the parts that come off are very tight tolerances and they need to be made sure that they're right to, before they go into inspection. Yeah, but normally they would be done in, in inspection, wouldn't they? So what is the advantage to your business having one here on the shop floor? Well, what the Extreme does, it takes into consideration all the temperature changes within the shop. So well, as it's being checked, it's mo the, the, the machine is monitoring all the time that the actual temperature of the, uh, of the part. So when that part goes into the inspection and is kept at 20 degrees and being put on to the fixture to be checked in there, we know that the part is, is, is bang on. So if we inspect the component here and it might be 30, 40 degrees and we check it in the inspection, do you get a similar result? We get, a, we get bang on the same. Uh, we've, I, I didn't have any faith in this uh, product at all uh, when it was uh, uh, put out to me. Um, Aberlink got in contact with us and, we, and, and I had no faith in it at all. Uh, but they put the uh, Extreme in place. We've done a lot of testing with it and, in, and it's shown that it is a, a really good product. Yeah, I understand this was the first in the country, a pre-production model. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, we, Aberlink sort of contacted us and wanted us to trial it. And uh, like I said before, we had, we had real doubts about it, if it would actually do what we wanted it to. Um, but it, it has shown that it's been really good. Uh, like I say, the parts are coming off. They, they're checked out here with the temperature fluctuating quite a lot out here. And once it's been put into the inspection and kept at 20 degrees, uh, it is measuring exactly the same. And this isn't your first investment with Abilink, is it? Uh, no, we've got two Axiom 2 machines um, and we've got an old uh, manual uh, Abilink machine as well. And like I say, the, the software is, is really user friendly. Uh, we've got a lot of guys in the shop on the shop floor. You can use the software, use the system. And, you know, like I say, it, within a day, we can train somebody else up to use it. Yeah, one of our customer requirements is 100% inspection. So uh, these two machines in here are just verifying the data from the extreme. We've never had any issues. Uh, if, it's, if it's right out there, it's right in here. Um, and. I mean, like I say, the Extreme is a very good machine. So if I asked you, what if an engineer was not quite sure whether to buy a CMM for the shop floor, what would you say to them? Well, I, I have, I, like I said, I had a lot of doubts when, I, when we put it into the shop. I said, but now, I mean, six, seven months on, I, it, I'd be lost without it. I think it's a fantastic machine. A uh, fantastic bit of kit, and it should be in on every shop floor. 
and there's a lot of investment going on at the moment. Can you tell me a bit more about that? Yes, we've um, been able to invest. We've invested near on uh, a million pounds in the last 18 months in new facilities. We've built a new office. We've, um, ex we're extending the workshop. But on top of that, we've bought two nice new shiny Mayano ABX machines. Um, and we've just placed an order for a new five-axis mill. So the future's bright? Yes, we hope so. Yeah, we think so. And uh, the only way that we can remain competitive is to continue investing in good machinery and obviously looking after our people. So that's what we've decided to do. And Abilink are going to be part of that journey? Definitely, yeah. Yeah, we've been very pleased with the support we've been given and um, we're very pleased with the performance of the machinery that we've got.